Okay, we have an earthquake right now, and this is actually moving. Can you see the cracks moving? This crack is just moving. Here's a huge crack, and it's still moving. Going back and forth, swaying. It's making me kind of nervous. Hello, everybody. This is Feed Your Mind. And so, for the last decade or so, there has been strange reports of increased amounts of sinkholes. Well, recently, within the last maybe two years or so, there's been a strange increase in not only sinkholes, but the ground beginning to split in various locations across the earth. I started really noticing news about cracks opening up in the ground when about a year ago they started talking about Antarctica having this mysterious crack open up in the earth. There was reports that researchers had to move their base to another location because they were concerned that this crack might swallow up their camp. And so they moved their labs to another part of Antarctica and within only about a half a year later there was reports that this crack opened up bigger and eventually broke off a complete piece of Antarctica and started floating off. And so I figure most people would excuse that as just something to do with the temperature and the melting of the ice for some type of climate change reasons. But the thing is in Kenya just recently what was reported on as something that just occurred within days, some even say it seemed like it happened overnight, the residents noticed a big crack open up in Kenya. And so scientists examined this crack and they can't believe how fast this crack opened up. Scientists are speculating that this crack was filled up a long time ago and forgotten about. Because according to scientific research, they do not believe that tectonic plate activity can happen that fast. And so they're coming up with any type of alternative explanation for this crack that opened up in Kenya that seems to be moving much more rapidly than what they are used to observing. The scientists are insisting that it will take around 50 million years for this crack to split big enough to split off Africa into two continents. But what if it doesn't take 50 million years? What if this is proof that tectonic activity can happen unexpectedly and much more rapidly than we ever imagined before? And so we can only speculate at the moment, but who knows how fast this crack in Kenya could really split into two. And so the ground is also opening up in Hawaii with everything going on over there with volcanic activity. But they're also experiencing the ground opening up. Where lava isn't the problem, cracks are. And the house is literally falling into that crack system here. This home in Leilani Estates on the verge of being swallowed. The crack itself offering neighbors a rare glimpse deep underground. And the strange thing about that is Obama is actually linked to both Kenya and Hawaii. So that's kind of a strange coincidence there. But it's not just Kenya and Hawaii that's experiencing these strange issues with the ground. There's also developments recently in Arizona that's been taking place where there is a two mile crack that opened up. Scientists once again seem pretty baffled by what's going on with all of these cracks opening up across the world. And like I said, there's also been reports of sinkholes opening up for the last decade or so. Could all of this be like the birth pains Jesus was talking about in the Bible when he said there would be earthquakes in one place after another? And could this be describing more than just earthquakes because with the ground opening up and the sinkholes and the tectonic activity and the continents breaking off, all that could be kind of related to earthquake activity. So could this all be leading to a time when maybe the whole ground begins to become very uncertain? There was talks in the Bible about the earth being renovated or restored. And so with there being talks about a new heaven and a new earth, earth is literally talking about the land that we're walking on. And so could that be suggesting that possibly the earth could open up and crumble into the sea or something, making room for a new earth? That could be something pretty interesting to think about. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section. Or could all of this not be so severe, maybe? Maybe this is just something like cracked skin. When your skin gets dry, your skin can crack. So maybe this is just something where, like, the earth is possibly dry and cracking. Like your skin might, if it was dry. Or all of this could possibly be related to the oil being removed from this earth and causing the tectonic activity to not be able to function properly due to the lack of oil. There has been suspected tectonic activities that have not been moving very much, like the Gulf of California, where 
Scientists believe this gulf is actually a split in the earth causing a separation that they're saying could eventually split California into another continent. And so this example suggests that it doesn't necessarily have to be a rapid occurrence. The process could take much longer. But all this really suggests to me is that some of the tectonic activity could move much faster than other areas of tectonic activity. We'll just have to really wait and see if there's any other developments in these stories over the next couple years or so. One interesting story was in Ethiopia where there's this place called Erder Ali and they say this location is an actual lake of fire. The locals actually call this place the gateway to hell. Scientists are saying that this is an area of tectonic activity that opened up the earth and what they found there was a lake of fire. They're saying that this is one of the longest existing lava lakes in the world. There's actually only about six areas on this earth where you can see a lava lake. And so this area suggests that when the ground opens up, lava can shoot up from underneath the earth, like we're seeing in Hawaii. But there's also areas where the ground opened up and water shot out of the earth. And so depending on where you are, there seems to be either hot lava, water, or petroleum areas underneath the earth in various locations. And so let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think that this tectonic activity happening across the earth could be a sign or do you think this is probably going to be a slow process maybe even 10 million years before there's any real activity or maybe it's somewhere in between maybe it could be a thousand years or maybe less than that so let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section for much more information check out my playlist beneath the earth is not what you were told i'll leave a link in the comment section in the description box Visit my website at FeedYourMind1.com and enter your email address. That way I can send you some cool news briefs throughout the week. It's completely free. Join my Patreon team for as little as $1 to help keep Feed Your Mind online. I will activate the Flat Earth Challenge when enough of you sign up. Plus I have free rewards and exclusives over there as well. Go to Patreon.com slash Feed Your Mind for complete details. Please click your notification bell. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been another episode of Feed Your Mind. Thank you for tuning in. Signing off. Yeah.